Now I'm not a writer. Okay. Hi. This was such a better plan. Yeah, it works out a lot better. I can hear you now. <laughs> okay, good. I'm trying to turn my sound up. It's really. Um. Is that working? Okay, I think I'm good. Okay. Hi again. How many people are here? Should we wait a bit? Oh, uh, we have 138. Well, wait, I, I just posted it, so we'll wait like two minutes and we'll start. Okay. We'll just uh, stare at each other. Hi, I'm Sophia. <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about normal stuff for a while. Um, hey. Hi. I've been following you for a long time. Really? No, like, actually, like, I have, like, for over a year and a half. Cool. Fun shit. It's sad we had to meet under these circumstances, but it's okay. Yes, but you are perfectly sweet and nice, so I don't mind. Thank you. I, like, a lot of people were saying I was acting like I was confront, it's like a confrontation, and I don't mean for it to be that way. My parents are lawyers, so it just... <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. I mean, I appreciate you, uh, I don't know, bringing up the questions that people are asking the most because I want to address them. I'm not trying to ignore anything. Yeah. Hundred nine to five, two o two. Okay, so I'm probably gonna ask a couple repetitive questions that I did before, just because like different people are here now. Yeah, definitely. So I mean, like as of right now, just say the whole date thing thing again. I've heard you say it a few times, but just so people can hear about the date. Yeah, about the date. Okay, so the only reason that I told Newsweek that it was on the twenty fifth is because I remember posting that picture of me with the half black and half purple uh, wig the day after. But it was two years ago, and I could very well be wrong. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe I posted it a couple days later, and, and I don't know. Like, there's so many, like, possibilities, but, like, that's what I remembered. It's definitely around that time. And also, Melanie didn't say that it never happened, so... It's, that's what I've been saying. People are saying, oh, that picture is not from that exact day, so it didn't happen. But Melanie never said she would have said it up. Like, you know, that's like I kind of I side with you on that. Um, for sure. Not that I don't completely side with you, but I feel like it's just some people are bringing it both ways. Um, yeah. Speaking of that picture, what was that a picture of? Like, what were you guys doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, with me wearing her wig? Yeah. Or no, the one with the handcuffs. What's that? <laughs> Oh, okay, so that day we had gone to a thrift store and there was just this, like, silly, like, old, like, kit that was, like, a feather tickler and, like, handcuffs and, like, those dice that say, like, kiss, leg, and those things. And I was like, oh my god, that's so funny, like, let's get it, you know? Uh, but then we started playing it and I was, like, doing funny rolls on the dice, you know? Like lick elbow but then she like you know wanted yeah. to do so on. yeah yikes huh. that's rough um <laughs> speaking of the other picture that you brought up i'm just gonna ask again because a lot of the people weren't here before so like i already asked you and i know the answer but so why like were you friends afterwards like why would you do the role play that's what a lot oh. of people Right. It's, it's, it wasn't really role play, but the reason Not that we, play, but yeah. I understand people think that, though. Um, like, I didn't, I don't know, there's so many ways that I've been saying this, but I just wanted to still be her friend afterward, and I was in denial. I stopped thinking about it. I think I honestly dissociated and just, like, mm -hmm. kind of forgot that it happened. There would be, like, you know, weeks where I would forget that it even happened and then be like, whoa, that's so weird. Like, that felt like a dream. So I just, I don't know, I loved her and I didn't want to stop being her friend. So at that point, where the picture where I'm copying her, I was on tour with them because my boyfriend worked on her tour and we were bored on the bus one day and she had just posted the picture and I was like, haha, and I put it on, and then she did my makeup for fun, and that's yeah. it. When did the friendship end? Like, was it earlier this year, or was it more like 2016? 
Like when because you, like, you said that you said on the live stream that like she texted you or you texted her about her unfollowing you. When like was that? Uh, I can figure it out. Um, let me check. With those braces, don't even waste your time, Tim. That's really nice, guys. Thanks for the kind comments. Wow. She's nice, guys. What the hell? Um. Where is it? It was in October. Must have been of 2015. October 2015. Oh, so you guys were... Fr- well, because a lot of people have been posting some of the recreation pics, and, like, some of them were for... Oh, wait, no. Sorry. It's got to it's be 2016, then. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, God. Now they're going to quote me. Everyone's going to be like, oh, well, you can't even remember that, so... Guys, I'm sorry. I forget what day it is. <laughs> That's true. I understand that. Um, your eyebrows are on fleek. Uh, yeah, so I I know I already asked this and I heard your reply, but people are saying, like, what's your opinion on everyone destroying her merch and unstanding her? What do you think about that? Right. Um, well, I understand unstanding someone who you trusted and looked up to and then they did something terrible. Uh, but I don't really have a opinion on how they're going about doing so. Like, I'm not going to say you're bad people for burning her merch, but I'm also not going to get mad at people who aren't burning her merch. Uh, People just, I don't know, express themselves in different ways, I guess. I have no idea if you can still see me. I think my phone's about to die. (laughs) Oh no, you're frozen, but I can hear you. Um, So if my phone dies, I'll promise you I'll be right back. And if you want to end me back, you can. Okay, I mean, I'll just, yeah, I'll just stay here if it happens. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna exit out and see what happens, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. No worries. Oh, there you are. Hello. Yeah, um, okay, so someone just asked this, and I have it written down. Did, has Mel reached out to you? I know the answer, but for everyone... That no, she hasn't. She hasn't even tried? Has she tried to talk to your boyfriend? Or not? Uh, I mean, we both have her blocked, but I feel like there could have been other ways for her to reach me. I mean, her my email's on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's true. Let's see. What else do we have? Hmm. Do you miss Mel? I didn't hear your response before because you were frozen. Right. Um. In a way, yeah. I mean, I, I still kind of have this... I mean, it was hard for me up till actually saying this story because I still have this feeling of love for her and I've had to struggle with that. Um, but it doesn't make my experience any less real just because I have that feeling for her. Um, so I, I miss the good times, but in general, she was not a very good friend to me. Okay. So I try to remind myself of that. Yeah, I relate to that, especially with old friends. Nothing happened like, to me what, like what happened to you, but sometimes you only think of the positives and you forget the negative aspects of the friendship. Totally. Yeah, I mean, I, when I talk about it to my friends now, they're like, dude, like... She was not nice to you. Don't don't even like think about it. Yeah. Um so, Did Mel ever try to and also if anyone thinks that I'm here just to like just be on Mel's side, just be on Tim's side, that's not true. I'm kind of neutral. I just want to get these questions out here to get answers for you guys. Um did has did Mel ever try to do anything with you after that night or was it over? No. It was like it it was like it never happened. She never tried to do it again? Mm-mm. Mel confirmed it, yeah. Mel did. In her response, everyone is saying her response was not the brightest idea of a response. <laughs> I agree. Hmm. So, yeah, you were both high. I already asked you that, but because these people weren't here. Mel, was. you guys were both high? We were both high, and I think that a lot of kids in here may not have smoked weed before. Mm -hmm. So they don't really understand how it works, but it doesn't completely immobilize me and it does not wipe my memory. Um, I don't really know what else. The the weed was not an important part of the story. Mm -hmm. So it was whose house was it at? I remember someone asking me that. Was it at Melanie's house? house. You were staying there? Yes, my boyfriend was out of town. Oh, her boy. So she was dating someone when it happened? 
both of our boyfriends were out of town. Yes, we both had boyfriends. Was okay. So I'm gonna ask a question, just out of my own pure curiosity. Was she dating Miles at the time, or was it someone else? She was dating Miles. Oh shit! God, I did not know that. He said he wouldn't care. But I don't know if she ever told him. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, who knows? If this is the first time he's hearing about it. That's rough. So a lot of people are also saying that what, so you were both at, this wasn't while you were on tour, right? This is, was at a house? Like, so right, it was her, her apartment. Okay. Hmm. How do you feel about people thinking that it was partially your fault it happened because you were high? Or because like, you may not have said no. That's what some people are saying. Not that I think that. Right. I mean, I only smoked weed the second day. So there was an entire day of me saying no and being sober um the next day it just it was just like it was so much i was so overwhelmed with her asking me and bothering me that i was just like fuck and i think i kind of listed that i also kind of smoked weed because maybe it would make me like fall asleep and i'd be able to like avoid this happening at all you know yeah but it i said no up for for a good while you know Mm -hmm. i think it just made it a little bit harder for me to like it just made me give up easier, maybe, but, I mean, I had been bothered for two days. Right. It was two days in a row that it happened? Yeah. Like back to back? Hmm. Uh, so, I'm just going to say it again, because, again, I'm sorry some of these are repetitive. So, you think that Mel's healer is, like, when she tried to say, you should talk to them, you think that's kind of BS? Do you think yeah. That? I mean, I think that she has this, like, god complex that she has to like fly in and save me because i'm the one who's mentally ill when she hasn't really struggled with mental illness ever in her life and she just i don't know tries to be this like savior for everyone and after i've had you know two years of weekly therapy and i'm on medication like i'm good you know like i i did that for myself and i don't need her to come and recommend me this healer that's gonna look into my past lives like Mm -hmm. i'm good g did she recommend that to you because of what happened or i don't know i really don't know she i mean when she sent it she she's she says that she saw that that more vague tweet that i had you know and that she she got worried about me and a month ago uh, was this a month ago that this happened or was this a while back uh a month ago, when she, yeah, when she saw the tweet and uh, tried to contact me and Mikey. Oh. So she, so you did talk to her a month ago? No, I didn't respond. Oh, she okay. tried to she tried to call me and I, I hung up and then Mikey got the text messages, but we never responded. Oh, and that's when you blocked her, basically? Right. Okay. And Mel hasn't texted you, or I mean, from what you know of since then? That's I, I wouldn't know because I still have her blog. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see what I haven't asked you on this that I asked on the other one. Do you think, do you as like the person that released it think that Mel's career is over? Like, do you think if she releases a second album, it'll fail? I'm sure it'll do fine. I don't know. It seems like there's still plenty of people that support her and that's their decision. I personally choose to not support people who are outed as rapists i don't listen to chris brown etc but um i don't know i think that she'll be okay just numbers wise um why did you choose to do it now like why december 5th is there like a reason like was the day like or is it just kind of no i'm not trying to assume, you know, i think you know what i like i saw that face i think you mean because of your your song coming out but i don't mean that but some right yeah, people definitely do. Um, you know, that morning I didn't even think I was going to do it. I was with Mazzy and we had like gotten brunch and like I had posted it in this Facebook group I'm in actually. That's like where women out their abusers. And I was like, do you guys think that I should like go forward th- with this? Like I'm really scared. And everyone in there was like, yeah, we have your back. We support you. And I think I just felt really supported. So when did, when did you tell News Weekly about it? When did that happen? Was it like after you let like tweeted about it or was it a month ago? It was after. 
They hit oh, me up after they told the story. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why I thought you told them earlier. That was my bad. Okay, so then you, that was the one, was that the one um, news station, I guess you could say, that you told more in-depth view, or did you tell anyone else? Like, has BuzzFeed come contacted you? I know they did an article on it. They did contact me, but I haven't done an interview yet. I did a couple private interviews, and I think I tweeted them all. There was one with the Fresh Committee, and then there was one, I don't remember, but I, I did a couple on the phone. But it, all of them happened afterward. Like, I never did any, like, proceeding up to this. They just, they reached out to me when they saw the tweet, you know. Are you going to follow up with BuzzFeed? I only say that because I know they're a pretty major source. Or do you think you'll leave it at what it is? I think I emailed them back. I think we just had an email conversation. I've, I've gotten a lot of emails. But I know a girl that works at BuzzFeed, so she's the one that reached out to me. Okay. That makes sense. Do you think that Mel had been planning to do this to you, or do you think it was like a spur of the moment? She just decided, let's do it today. Like, she'll try to sleep with you. Like, what I, do you mean? No, I mean, I don't think it was, it was like premeditated, but her, she definitely was aware of how much control she had over me at that point, because it had been just, you know, building up. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> This is a lot. I know that I'm not the one it happens or anything, but just like everyone it's online okay. is just mental, mental. I know. I wish there was something I could say to convince people, but I think that no matter how many times we have conversations like this, there's just going to be people that just choose mm -hmm. to not believe me. I've been saying to people that if it didn't happen, then Melanie would have said it didn't happen. She said that you chose to be together, and that could be a lie, because obviously if, if someone that did the like, someone killed someone, they're not going to say, oh, I killed them. Like, if they're, like, for the most part, they'll be like, what? I did not do anything. Of course, anything. there's no way she would ever say that she did it. I mean, I don't know. That would just, yeah. Who would? She that it happened. She just didn't admit that it was not consensual. Right. right? Yikes. Oh, it's so sad. I just feel bad for everyone. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for diehard fans that lost their icon. Not that they should still idolize her, but I mean, you know, like, yeah, it's, a, it's a really sad reality. I mean, I, I lost a really good friend from yeah. it too. I lost someone who I thought I was going to be friends with for the rest of my life. Yeah. So like, no matter how sad you guys feel, I mean, not to, you know, <laughs> not to bring that down, but I felt worse. I can promise you. Oh yeah. Definitely. Do you... What was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought. I'm not sure. Let me read comments and see if anyone's saying anything that would make sense to ask. Yeah. Hmm. Did it happen... Are you sure it was in Jaloon or... Jaloon? June? Or do you think it might have been July? I think it was definitely at least that week. That week? Yeah. But I... I don't know. I don't even want to talk about the date anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to just... People no, it's okay. I just... That's the one thing that people are like, it's proof that she's lying now. And it's like, Melanie would have said I was lying if I was lying. That, exactly. Because in your article, like, if... Because Melanie didn't post her response for hours. Like, hours. And after. So there's no way that she didn't read articles. So if she thought that that date was wrong, she would have said so. Exactly. Do you think that you'll talk to Melanie about what happened? Or do you think you're just going to leave it at nothing? I'd rather not talk to her. It's mm -hmm. I've had some pretty, like, I don't know, heavy conversations with her. And when she dumped me, it was honestly a really cruel, long conversation that really hurt me. And I just, yeah, I, I can't imagine having a constructive conversation with her at this point. What do you think about her response? Like, what's your opinion on it? I think she wrote it herself. Um, I don't think that she put much thought into it. And I didn't feel like there was a lot of uh, honesty in there about her feelings. Um, she tried to make it seem like we were on the same level. And we weren't. She 
you know, she she was bigger than me, and I'm not going to say that she wasn't more famous than me. Of course she was and is, and she probably always will be. That didn't have anything to do with it, but she knew it, and she just embodied it, you know? Um, but I think that the end of it, it just proves that Melanie herself doesn't have a clear idea on what cons consent is. So that makes a lot of sense to me, considering what happened. Yeah. I, I feel like her everyone uh, mutually agrees that her response was not up to par. I mean, but then again, I understand why she didn't say more, you know, because if she said more, she'd be admitting to it. And as someone that has so much of an influence, I don't think that she'd want to, you know, like. I mean, I said a lot. I'm saying more right now. And it's clear that people questioning me isn't going to stop. So it's like you know, one extreme or the other. I guess I, I mean, I could have just left it at the, the story that I tweeted and never spoke about it again. Yeah. But I want people to know. Yeah, because like, I guess, like, the more you talk about it, the more people will believe, because if you only said the story, a lot of people are saying... Story. Like, I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> the eye roll. <laughs> this is a question I have. Do you know if Melanie is bisexual? Oh, I've gotten this so many times, like, because she did stuff to right. you and someone else that she was friends with came out saying that she slept with her because Melanie was, like, trying to. Right. Um, you know, I don't know. She has never outwardly told me that. Um, I don't even really know if I consider, like, because she... Maddie, the other girl who slept with her, Melanie dumped her, too, very shortly yeah. after. And I think it was just kind of a weird power thing. I don't really think it had anything to do with her sexuality. Maddie is openly bisexual, and I am, you know, I just don't think about it, really. Like, I eh, I guess you could call me queer. I'm probably not straight. I just don't really believe in labeling, you know. Yeah, I don't want to think about it, really. It's not important to me to, I don't know, give myself a name with that. But Melanie never spoke to me about being bisexual. Right. I'm only asking, I know it doesn't really have to do with the whole what, what happened, but I just see it being asked a lot and I got asked a lot about it. Not saying mm -hmm. that I have like a huge following, but I literally, I reactivated my account after this happened because I was just flabbergasted. And I have gotten over like 400 DMs since then. Yeah. So it's just a mess. Yeah, mine are flooding as well. It's hard for me to, uh, I can't really go through them and find the ones that I really want to answer because there's so many that are just pointless, mean things. Yeah. Is that Morgan is not real. I don't know how people are still saying that that girl is real. <laughs> I literally, so I don't know if you saw, you probably didn't, but on my account, I was saying how ridiculous it was. And just to prove how ridiculous it was, I got my brother's phone and I had a text conversation with myself. And I posted it with a watermark because obviously people <laughs> reposted it saying that it's true. And I had at least five fan accounts reposted saying, oh my God, look at this, a conversation with Timothy. That's so funny. I just did it to prove that like that girl and that picture, it wasn't even, it was of someone else that you can find the Instagram of. So we're in Chloe and the picture is on my Instagram and she is tagged. Yeah. Is there anything you regret about exposing her or like are you completely just happy it's out like do you like have a little bit of like you feel bad or you just kind of there's a sadness but I know that this was the right thing to do mm -hmm. um I guess if I look back at wishing that I handled it differently I just wish that I never set a date <laughs> because oh, people are really focusing on that but I mean in putting out the story no, I don't. I don't regret it. It was what was best for me, and I know that I'm helping a lot of people in talking about this. A lot of people are saying, "Why did you delete the posts of you and Mel on your account?" Because people were commenting on them, saying, "I mean, it's like if I leave them or if I don't leave them, they're going to be mad at me." They were saying, "Why would you still have pictures with her if you hate her so much?" And I'm like, "It's so fucking far back. I just didn't ever." bother it like I'm not that type of person like I still I have pictures of my ex-boyfriend way back in my phone I just don't do that you know but I mean there was no point I I don't care about looking at old memories of her so I I deleted it and now they're like oh 
now she's deleting it afterward. It's like, you're going to criticize me whether I have them up or not. Speaking of you having things up, was, I believe you because I've heard you say it, but was sleep being pinned on your Twitter before yes. it happened? Before you tweeted or after? Like, I wish I had screenshots of my Twitter, but sleep was has been pinned since the day it came out in October. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember seeing it too. So many people are like, I know. Trying to promote yourself. It's like, how do you prove that? And also, like, is it so bad that I have my single pinned on my Twitter? Like, I'm trying to succeed as a musician. I want people to hear my song. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Was it hard to see her become more and more famous when you knew what she did to you? Yeah, I don't think it was fame, but I... It's hard to see kids with Melanie accounts talking about how she saved their life and she helped them so much through depression and anxiety. And when I was her real friend with depression and anxiety and I tried to come for, to her, she just wasn't there for me at all. Um, yeah. So yeah, it hurt for me to see that. And it's like, I've been through this stuff firsthand and I want to spread awareness about mental illness and not just write songs about like crazy people, you know, like it's like <laughs> it's offensive to people who are actually called crazy, you know, when I know that she is extremely neurotypical. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think. You're really just hitting all the nails in the head. Like, I, I personally don't think I have any more questions, but. I'm just trying to see what other people are saying. I know. I'm trying to see that, too. And a lot of people are saying that Mel tried to kill herself, and I don't think that's true, but... There's no way for me to check that, but I highly doubt that is I true. Think. And I think that we would know if that was true. I think there would be news on it if that was true. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What else people are saying? Was she a bad friend to you since the beginning of you being friends? Like, when you were first became best friends, was she always kind of shitty, or was she get got worse? She, it definitely grew as she got more comfortable with me, and she realized how much she could, like, push me around, but she was never great. I mean, we never spoke about my life, but I was very codependent, and I was okay with that at that point because I didn't want to focus on my own life. So I was just like, yeah, I'll do that for you. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll take pictures for you. I'll, I'll do this. Like, I did so much for her, and we never focused on me. So, yeah, she was nice to me, but because I was doing that stuff, you know? Yeah. And another thing is that whenever I would, like, invite her to something or introduce her to my friends, she was never very nice to them so none of my friends liked her and I'd be like oh she's just shy like she has to get to know you but it never happened yeah do you blame people that still support Melanie even after knowing this but maybe not supporting her actions toward you of course but still for her music because of how it's helped them I understand that it's a really difficult place to be in um I can't really relate to it because I've never had an artist that I look up to that much, but because like, you know, like I like the song remix to Ignition, but I can not listen to it because R. Kelly fucking sucks, you know, but like I've never had a song save my life. So yeah, I understand exactly where they're coming from. I can't say that I would do the same thing, but I'm not going to be mad at them. Mm -hmm. I see one that I want to answer. Um, people are talking about how the beginning of Sleep sounds like that one unreleased Melanie song. I've seen that. I've never heard that, that song in my life. It was unreleased. That's like a live recording, I think. And yeah, and I can think of so many songs that start with... Like, it's just a thing. Like, it's not a complicated guitar part whatsoever. Uh... It's a weird, it's a, it's a coincidence, definitely. It's a really sucky coincidence. <laughs> and honestly, my boyfriend wrote that guitar part. Like, I wrote the song, but, like, he did the instruments. So I was like, Mikey, look at what they're saying. And he's like, what the hell? Like, 
I wrote that guitar part, you know? Yeah. He never heard the song either, so. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. There was one question I was going to ask, but I completely forgot. Someone said it. Oh, yeah. Why did you choose to say it on social media instead of going to the police? I understand why, but I don't think a lot of other people do. Yeah. Um, I loved her for a lot of months afterward. I... I just didn't want to believe what she did was real, and I forgot about it. I think I kind of dissociated that as it was happening, so I just really just, like, repressed it and didn't think about it and forgot that it happened and decided to laugh about it like it was, like, a weird joke. But I was her friend for a long time afterward. And, like, you know, just because I'm realizing how fucked it up it was now doesn't mean I can go to the police right now, you know? Because yeah. they're going to me for proof they can't take my word against hers just like some people here are acting like that like you're just gonna have to ch choose to believe me because i'm an honest person i told my dad so my parents as i said before my parents were both lawyers and i was talking to my dad about this because he's tried cases that involve this and he said if there was to be a case about it that it couldn't even go to trial because of the fact that it's word against word and you guys were alone and like there's not really much that would happen from it. So by saying exactly. it on Twitter, you're kind of alerting her fans by going to the authorities, like it's going to be a case that won't be solved. Do you know what I mean? Because like for it to be solved by a court of law, like that would take a lot. Exactly. And I'm not trying to put Melanie in jail. That wasn't my goal. Like I didn't want to. Even realizing this, it's not like, wow, I wish I could put her in jail. Like I know that's not reasonable. And I know that she doesn't, I just, the reason I did this was to raise awareness and to tell the truth. I didn't do this to affect her. Yeah. Let me see. A lot of people are asking what Michael Keenan, uh, but I'm just going to say that, like, you guys aren't friends right now, so you wouldn't know if there's anything happening with them, right? So. Oh, no, I have no idea. I, I'm pretty sure they're still dating, but I don't know. Yeah. Are you surprised or shocked that her record label didn't drop her when this all came out? Um, I'm not surprised because record labels continue supporting, I mean, a lot worse artists a lot of the time. Chris Brown's still on a label, but um, I also think that um, it's not too late for some sort of repercussions to happen. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are saying to explain your BPD, if you feel comfortable with that. Um, I already got an answer about that earlier, but like literally right. BPD, BPD. Um, well, first of all, I've done a couple of YouTube videos on this. So if you guys want to hear me talk about it, you can, you can go watch those. But uh, sh a short version of that is that I struggled with BPD. The uh, symptoms that I really struggled with was abandonment and like emptiness um feeling like I can't do anything on my own that's why I lack like I let friends control me because I did felt like my life was pointless you know um I never struggled with telling the truth that just wasn't a symptom that I I exhibited ever I didn't really I am not a liar um but basically, I was diagnosed with that probably over two years ago now, and I've been going to weekly therapy and taking medication, and now I don't meet all, uh, the requirements for borderline. Okay. So, I, I mean, I still struggle with the things, but I'm technically, I can't call myself borderline anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else people are saying. We already talked about why you cosplayed Mel. A lot of people are saying about the handcuff photo. I'm not sure if you said it on this live already. I think I did. Um, I did too. But I don't know. It was it was a, some joke stuff that we got. We were playing a weird game. I was trying to make it funny, and she was not. Right. Let me see. Did your therapist, when you talked about this, recommend that you tell the authorities, or what did they think you should do? No, she never recommended that I see the authorities. She 
you know, for a while I tried to just get over it within myself, but I was like increasingly bothered by seeing, you know, her be this hero for people. And she just talked me through it and mm -hmm. like why, or like what I would get out of talking about it. And I made sure I wasn't doing it for the wrong reasons. I'm doing it so people are aware, which yeah. is the bad reason. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I do need to go pretty soon, so maybe I'll oh. find a question. Of course. No worries. I just gotta Sorry. go. Work. <laughs> no, it's okay. Let's Thank find one that we see a lot. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Like you really didn't have to, but I really appreciate it. Of course, yeah, I, I appreciate you being so nice about it, and I don't know, finding the things that people are asking a lot. Of course. A lot of people are asking what color was Mel's hair when it happened. I don't okay. know why that's a question. She wears wigs literally like for every single concert. Right. Just... She had purple and black hair at the time. She was wearing a wig. Um, I've never known Melanie to ever have extensions in her life. She, whenever she's pictured with long hair, it's a wig. Mm -hmm. Oh God, it's all wild. I really hope that it gets better for you and people start to believe you and your story. And Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go guys, but okay. I hope it was informative. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date on your favorite streamers. We'll argue later.